Just 60 days until Election Day, voters are preparing for the, the last primary of the year in a key battleground state. Here with more is ABC News congressional correspondent Rachel Scott. Rachel, good to see you. And it is obviously going to be a very busy season for you, probably over the next two years. Uh, you're looking at the Granite State right now, New Hampshire. Break that down for us. Yeah, exactly, Phil. And this is one that I've really had my eye on here because this primary is later than most in the midterm season. And this is a state where Republicans are really trying to make some gains here because Democrats control both the House seats and both the Senate seats. So let's start with the key Senate race. The Senator Maggie Hassan, Hassan is now running for re-election. She's going to figure out which Republican she's going to be facing off again. So on one end, you have Chuck Morse. He's a state senator backed by the governor, Chris Sununu. He is going up against Don Boldick, a retired Army general who's peddled Trump's false claims about the 2020 election. And then you have both of the Democratic incumbents here now facing re-election in both of the House races. But we're really paying attention to the first congressional district in New Hampshire. This one, you have five Republicans facing off against each other, looking to challenge uh, the representative Chris Pappas. You have a 26-year-old, Caroline Levitt. She is a former Trump official. She actually worked at the Trump White House. I tried to the state, sat down with her. She's barely old enough to run for Congress. She scored the endorsement of Senator Ted Cruz. Matt Mowers, though, is looking to face off against her. And Matt Mowers is actually another former Trump official. He worked in the State Department. He worked for Christie. And um, he has been uh, supported by groups linked to Kevin McCarthy as well. Bill. Yeah, I covered uh, New Hampshire, the live free or die state for years. It's a small little state there in New England with big implications. Mm -hmm. uh, New Hampshire, like many other states, is seeing that very contentious Republican primary there uh, with a lot of Democrats getting involved. How is that working? Yeah, and this is one of seven states total. You have seven states where Democrats have interfered in sort of these GOP primaries, running ads, attacking some more of the far right candidates in these races, spanning from California all the way over to New Hampshire, as we mentioned, running ads uh, against Matt Mowers. Now, some progressive Democrats have warned against this, essentially saying this is essentially raising the profile of some of these Republicans. And if their strategy then fails, then of course you have these Republicans who can then come to Capitol Hill. They'll have to be working with them. So a lot of Democrats warning against this strategy, but still remains to see whether or not it's actually going to prevail when it comes time for November, Phil. And finally, Rachel, things seem to be moving in the right direction if you're a Democrat there. Uh, what are the latest polls show? Yeah, and this is really big here, Phil, because if you remember just a few months ago, if you just look at July, the president's approval ratings were hovering just around 36 percent. We saw that jump by just two points in August. Well, look at where we are here in September. 41 percent is where the president's approval ratings are sitting right now. Of course, he's off of this fresh string of legislative victories, really feeling this sort of summer bounce from the Inflation Reduction Act, his latest announcement to cancel student loan debt for millions of Americans. Well, why does this matter? because of course Democrats are looking to hang on to both the House and the Senate here and when you look at this latest poll from NPR and PBS and when they asked Americans if the elections were held today who would you support this is good news for Democrats here because this number 48 percent of Americans say that they would support Democrats Phil all of this Rachel as you know with an eye on 2024 mm -hmm. as well Rachel yep. Scott thanks so much we appreciate you breaking it down for us Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.